Hi, this is uh, Joel from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm I'm in town right now. Here here in town, and I'm right. a, I'm I'm gonna need a place to stay tonight. So, do you have a couch or a spare room? No, we do not. You don't have a couch in your apartment or house. No, this is Seven Eleven. Right. I know you're an employee of Seven Eleven. I'm the, I'm with the corporate office, and no, I don't. Have, hmm? My couch is full with my brother-in-law. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm okay with the floor. I mean, I'd prefer a couch or a bed, but the floor is fine. You know, I'm, beggars can't be choosers. That's what I always say. Yeah, I really just don't have the room. Um, well, you don't have room on your floor? Not really. I can stay in the kitchen, what? on the bathtub, in the bathtub, I mean, or, you know, whatever. I'm, I, I just, I'm, I'm a little, I'm, I, I've asked people I know that nobody can really do it, and, you know, you work for me. I sign your paychecks, so... I just need a place to stay just for a couple days till I figure something out. Yeah, I don't have the room. Wait, how big's your place? Is it an apartment or a house? It's a trailer house. It's very small. Yeah, I don't take up a lot of space. Can I number two? Yeah, I just don't have I, the room personally myself. Come, come on, my my wife left me. Okay, I I didn't want to I didn't want to get all personal about this, but my wife left me, and I'm really upset. I just need a place to stay. Well, I guess I just don't have the room. If I had the room, I'd be all right with it, but I don't have the room. Well, can can I... Sh- do you have a place to stay? Maybe I could just take your bed, and, and you could stay some... You have a friend or something that you could just stay with them for a few days? Nope. You don't have any friends? No, I don't have friends. That's pretty weird. I don't know. You're not really being a team player here. I, I'm just trying to find a place to stay, that's all. Like I said, if I had the room, can can I can I just share a bed with you? No. Why not? Cactus, 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 cactus. Why, hello there, everyone. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Episode 454. This is the show where we perform improv comedy with unsuspecting participants over the telephone, otherwise known as prank phone calling. Today's episode is sponsored by Miguel F. Thank you, Miguel F., for being a longtime supporter of the Snowplow Show and the PLA and everything else over there on Patreon. Also, thank you to the new supporters like Aaron and Abbott and Beavis Don't Leave Us. Wow, best name in a while. But there's some good competition for the best name because we're also now being supported by Lord and Lady of Veggies and Eric C. and CDMA531, Gonzo, Carol J., Lucas S., and Robert K. Thanks, everyone, for signing up on the Patreon. Patreon.com slash phone losers. Just five bucks a month gets you a bunch of extra shows and videos and other crap. I don't know. Whatever. Who cares, really? So the Kickstarter ended, and holy fucking shit, like, I posted that thing, uh, I think the last time I did a show, I probably said it was right around $2,500, and I said that because it went over a certain level, I was going to do snowplow show coins, but I probably wouldn't be able to do lapel pins. Or wait, maybe I said I was still going to do lapel pins, I can't even remember anymore. But I did say that I would only be able to give the snowplow show coins and the lapel pins to the Kickstarter people, and that caused a bunch of people who are also Patreons to suddenly support the Kickstarter, and it went up to $4,176 from 212 people backing the project. And thanks to that, I am now a huge liar because with that extra money, I'm able to get more Snowplow Show coins and more lapel pins, and I feel like I tricked a bunch of you into supporting the Kickstarter for no reason now, really. So sorry I lied on the last show because I'm going to have plenty of lapel pins. I still don't know about the Snowplow Show coins, how many of those I'm going to be able to get, but every single supporter on the Kickstarter will definitely get a Snowplow Show coin and a lapel pin and a PLA coin and stickers and buttons, all that stuff. You all get pretty much the same thing. And then most of the people on Patreon, they're going to get the lapel pins because I ordered like 500 lapel pins today. Those are ordered. I should have them in four to six weeks. They're going to look amazing. They sent me a proof of them. I put an update on that on the Kickstarter page. 
which I'll put a link to in the show notes. And I'm sure I'm going to have a few lapel pins left over after giving them to the Kickstarter people and the Patreon people, even though I swore that I wouldn't just a week ago. I blame you people, you completely insane people, giving me $4,176. For the Snowplow Show coins, I don't know how many I'm going to be able to make. I've got to wait until I actually get my Kickstarter money, which I'm told won't happen until April 15th or probably a few days after April 15th, because I'm sure Kickstarter is going to take their cut. I'm sure some people's credit card billing things aren't going to go through. I don't really know what to expect on April 15th, so we'll just have to wait until then and see. But we're getting the Snowplow Show coin designed. Whoa there from the Discord, he found a really cool clip art of a go-cup, and we're going to use that, I think, for the front of the coin, or maybe for the back of the coin, I don't know. Don Fickles from ClownSec is helping out again with all of this. And I'm sure we'll have a design figured out by April 15th at least, but I put up a partial design on the Kickstarter today on the update I did. If you want to go check that out, link in the show notes. But my plan with the Patreon people, everyone's asking about this. Will the Patreon people get snowplow show coins and lapel pins? I am nearly certain that everybody on the Patreon who is $20 or above will get both, or all three. They'll get the lapel pin, they'll get the PLA coin, and they'll get the snowplow show coin. I'm pretty sure. After that, it's hard to tell. I'll try and do some of the $10 people, starting with the people who've contributed the most amount over the years. I think I gave a dollar amount before, but I think I was wrong on that. I think I said $1,000 or something, and there's no way. There's hardly anyone's done that much. What was I thinking? But, you know, I'll just start at the, the highest amounts and work my way down and see what I can do. But $20 and above, you're almost definitely getting all three things. Definitely the lapel pins and definitely the PLA coins. And hopefully, the Snowplow Show coins. That's the only thing I'm not completely sure about right now, is the Snowplow Show coins. But I am spending 100% of that $4,176 on stuff. On coins, lapel pins, and stickers. In other exciting coin news, ClownSec is doing another coin. This one is designed by the Chinese government. It's got all kinds of Chinese hieroglyphics on it. And if you want one of those, I will have a link to that in the show notes. It actually looks kind of cool. It says honk in Chinese letters. Don Fickles claims. It probably says something completely different, though. It probably insults the people that buy it. But it's a pretty cool-looking coin. It's got a hole in the middle of it. And if you like the PLA coins, then you should support this Kickstarter because Don Fickles is doing all of our design work, and no matter how much I ask, he won't take payment for the design work. He's just like, "Ah, I love PLA and I love coins. I just want the coins. That's all. So support the Clown Set coin. The link is in the show notes to the Kickstarter. You have about 27 days to support that. Before we get started on today's live show, we have some important breaking news. Uh, In-N-Out Burger is uh, seeking a restraining order against an online prankster. Like, I don't know, I just thought this was funny because it sounds like the same kind of things that I do over the phone, only this guy is going in and doing it in person. This guy uh, argued with employees and uh, took a hamburger from a customer, threw it on the ground and stomped on it, claiming it was garbage. But I think the people he took the hamburger from were uh, friends of his. He was just trying to shock everyone around him. I saw clips of the video. It really didn't even look that funny. But it says they filed a lawsuit against a guy named Cody Roeder who posts YouTube videos under the name Troll Munchies. I've heard of Troll Munchies. I don't remember what they do. I guess stuff like this. These customers are intentionally disruptive, and they've used deceit, fraud, trespass to their own advantage, and in each instance they have attempted to humiliate, offend, or otherwise make our customers or associates uncomfortable. Rotor caused significant and irreparable harm, and they want $25,000 for it because they're unjustly profiting from this illegal activity. And he's got a restraining order on him. He can't go to In-N-Out Burger anymore, like not even off-camera. I went to the Troll Munchies channel and the videos seem to have been taken down, or I couldn't find them anyway, so I guess they took him down. But he basically does the same stuff I do, just in person instead of over the phone. It says he does similar stuff at Taco Bell and Ralph's Supermarket. If you look on YouTube, you can find the videos on other people's channels. He's actually saying he's the CEO in these videos. You know, I'm from the corporate office, going in there in a suit and stuff. If you look on YouTube hard enough, you can find the videos. Actually, I'll put a link to it in the show notes of a news report that has the video on it, if you're interested. One last thing before we get started with the live show. Crap, did I already say that? If I did, I was lying. Sorry about that. But the Calls of Mass Confusion has finally been released. 
We did a live show on March 31st. That was Saturday night. We did a two-hour live show, a live stream on YouTube, which I will put a link to in the show notes if you want to see it. And we did a bunch of live calls of mass confusion pranks, which was pretty fun. And then after that, g had released the very first video of this season of calls of mass confusion. It's a 60 seconds to love video. If you remember that thing he used to do on the art of phone larking, which was always pretty fun. This time we did it on video. And it's got me on there. It's got Jag TV. It's got Dwight and Carlito. She only rated me a 2 out of 10. So I didn't win this round of 60 seconds to love, unfortunately. But I didn't get the worst rating, and that's all that matters. Be sure to go check that out at youtube.com slash comc pranks. I'll have a link to both of those videos in the show notes. And tomorrow, Giad tells me that another video is coming out, another Calls of Mass Confusion video. He's going to be releasing two every week, pretty much forever. So be sure to subscribe to the Calls of Mass Confusion channel, youtube.com slash comc pranks. Okay, here's today's live show. Merlin's a game that you can play. You can play it six different ways. Some like to play at tic-tac-toe. Others can test their skill at echo. Some play a tune on Music Machine or try to play Blackjack 13. Merlin is six electronic games in one. It's really fun for most everyone in the family. Six pen light batteries not included. With lights and sounds. Six games in one. Merlin's a game that's lots of fun. Merlin, six electronic games in one. From Parker Brothers. So I'm doing a live show today. I'm doing this list that I Regret Jumping sent me. He sent me a list of liquor stores uh, with hilarious names such as The Liquor Hole, The Liquor Well, Dick Liquor, Beaver Liquors, Snatch Liquor, Loco Liquor, Bradley Liquors. What's funny about that? I Regret Jumping. Nothing funny about Bradley. Are you making fun of my name? He also has Olga Liquors in here making fun of Olga's name, Pit Liquor, Cactus Liquor, Richard Liquors. I don't know. Um, he also sent me a list of ideas. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm just going to call liquor stores and, 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 you know, I don't know. Let's say things to him. Uh, Rev reminded me that today is our one year uh, Facebook anniversary. Thanks. Thanks for being my Facebook friend, Rev. You can be my Facebook friend, too, if you want. It's uh, facebook.com slash Brad the Carter, I think. I'm broadcasting on Shoutcast because somebody said that they needed the Hobo Shoutcast activated because they couldn't use the other thing for some reason, the Mixler. So if you want to listen on the Shoutcast, it's working. The number you have dialed is not in oh. service. Oh, Please great. Please the number and try again. Great. I regret jumping. Sending me numbers that don't even work first number on the list this whole thing is just a joke on me it's a joke on all of us let's call the liquor well you have reached seven one eight oh that's just great i regret jumping send me liquor stores that don't even answer liquor store hey uh i was in there um not too long ago i bought some peach schnapps and I needed to let you know it might be bad because I've been drinking this. I'm like really lightheaded. I'm dizzy and I threw up. So you might want to maybe take those off the shelves. Okay. Um. When did you get it? Today? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A couple hours ago. Okay. Well, my shift just started, so I didn't know if anybody when it was. Yeah, um, well, I'm just letting you know, like, th this liquor, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's making me dizzy. It's making me very dizzy, lightheaded. I threw up just a little bit. Okay, um, what size was the bottle so I can... Uh, it was, uh, I don't know, one of those, I, I don't know, like, I can't even read the bottle. I'm looking at it right now, and my vision has kind of doubled. But it's like it's it's like a big big soda bottle looking thing. Like it's twenty or thirty ounces, I guess. Oh, alrighty. I will do take these off then and let the boss know. Yeah, yeah. Let the boss know that the peach schnapps. It is uh, it is making people dizzy, lightheaded. Um, I don't. I I've been my my I've been like slurring my words a little bit. And it's just, yeah. Uh, yeah, it might be bad. There might be something wrong with it. 
Yeah, I will go ahead and pull it and tell the boss, and she can have the liquor people find out what's going on with it. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, it's no problem at all. I, I just didn't want this to happen to anyone else. Like, I, I, don't even yeah. fe- I don't even feel like I can drive anywhere at this point. Like, it, it's that bad. I think I'm basically uh, house-ridden. Yeah, well, be safe and call the doctor or something if you need to. Okay, I will. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I, I'm just going to hold off for a bit. I th- make sure, you know, like, like maybe, it's not, maybe it's not so bad. But de- okay. de- definitely, uh, yeah, messing Thanks. with my head a bit. Okay, I will definitely take these off and let her know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. She seemed like she was laughing a little bit. But then she she promised she would. Did she answer with dick liquor? Let's see. I the music playing too loud. Dick liquor store. Dick liquor? Yeah. Oh gosh, I just hit the redial button. Oh my god, this this peach schnapps has got I I don't know. Yeah, definitely go take it off the shelf. Oh, okay. I'm doing that right now. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. Have a nice night. You too. Bye. I don't know what's up with the uh the weird sound quality that I'm getting. Today's weather is brought to you by Morning Sight of Godfrey. From personal care to med- yeah, That sounds okay. So that was I Regret Jumping's first idea. <laughs> I don't know if she's taking me seriously or not, but she said she's going to take them off the shelf. Teehee. Tim Murgy wants me to make uh, amends with all my old liquor stores. I think they should apologize to me. Beaver Liquors. Thank you for calling Beaver Liquors. This is Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Uh, I used to come in there a lot. Um, th- this is Brad. And I'm sorry? Th- this is Brad. I used to come in there a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm in AA now, so I'm not really allowed to come in there anymore. But uh, I was wondering, oh. could you just apologize to me for uh, causing me to end up in AA? I'm sorry? Thank you. Oh, wait. No, you didn't understand. I, I said I really need an apology. Because I am in AA, thanks to your store, I have to go oh, to okay. a- I have to go to AA meetings once a week. I have to go to drug ad- and addiction counseling once a week. Gotcha, Brad. All right. Well, I mean, I'm really sorry to hear that. Okay. Um, thank you. I appreciate the apology. All righty. Have a good one. Are you gonna maybe like not do this to anyone else? Maybe you know. Maybe. I'm sorry. Stop? Are you gonna maybe stop doing what you're doing and and stop selling it to other people too? Um. Well, sir, we we are a business, right? Um, like a business you know, that puts people in AA and ruins their lives. I got a DUI because of you guys. Um, I I wouldn't say that's exactly because of us, but uh, anyways, brother, if you have any concerns, you could message David at. Okay, well, it just seems like um, I, you apologize, so you basically admitted that it's your fault. Uh, I didn't apologize for anything, but sure, brother, if you have any no, concerns, no, I, go ahead and email Dave at. Okay, I'll send him uh, an MP3 right. of this phone call because I recorded this phone call and I've got you apologizing to me and admitting that it's your fault. Right. I once again did not apologize for anything, sir. You you did because I have it on recording. Okay. You have a great day. I, I'm like I, I can't. The recording does not lie. Okay. You have a great day. All right. You too. A great day going to my drug and addiction counseling meeting tonight. Her wants me to ask if they have any non-alcoholic liquor. Is that really a thing? I know non-alcoholic beer is a thing. <laughs> ask which liquor conceals roofies the best. Okay. Is that what you meant, Tim Riggy? Is that what you wanted me to do? He wanted me to make amends with all my old liquor stores. Uh, we've got Snatch Liquor. That one's up in Canada. Pretty uh, pretty racy title for Canada. Surprised their store doesn't get burned down. Roger Dodger wants me to ask for communion wine. I could ask what's a good replacement for communion wine. Like, I want to get these people in church fucked up. Param wants me to say I'm 16. 
ask if they'll sell me alcohol if I ask really nicely. I could just ask what the going bribery rate is. Like, what do you need me to, to slip you a 20? Couple 20s. Great idea. H Town Cactus wants me to ask which flavor is popular with the kids. Hey there, we've sent your call to our voice message system 289. Oh, okay. So they're not there. The Canadian, Canadian Snatch Liquor. Oh well. So we're gonna go for Loco Liquor. What's funny about that name? Hello. Hey. How you doing? Good. That's good. I must have got the wrong number. I was trying to call Loco Liquor, but you just said hello. Yeah, it's Loco Liquor. Oh, are you Loco Liquor? What regarding? Um. Well, I need to find out if it's okay. Um, I've got an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting I'm going to be holding in your store starting tonight. Do you have chairs in there that we can sit down in your store and have a meeting? No. Why not? No, we don't have chairs. You don't have any chairs in your store? You cannot serve, I cannot serve the alcohol in my premises. This is the only liquor store. Oh, no, no. It's not a bar. No, see, that's why we're going to have the meeting there, because it's safe. You can't serve them alcohol inside the store. Uh, this is an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. You know, AA, for people that drink too much. So we're going uh -huh. ha to bring chairs in, and we're going to have a meeting in your store tonight. In about two hours. We're going to be there in two hours. But uh, who are you meeting to? Uh, it's an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. And you did any other store right now? You did any other store? No, we're going to come to your store. We're coming to your store. We're going to bring chairs. There's going to be... No, but go to the specs first because he's a bigger guy. So you can... Uh, I no, don't no. need anything like that today. No, no, we, we decided on this store. We've ar I already sent out the emails. Everybody's going to be meeting at your store. But who, you didn't even ask me. I know. I, I'm telling you now. I'm letting you know. It's going to be in, in an hour and a half. Seven o'clock. I think that's right. Yeah, um, but hour and a half, you didn't even take permission to do here in my premises. I know, but it's just it's for Alcoholics Anonymous. And everyone's going to be there. There's going to be 12 of us. We're going to sit in a circle in your store, and we're going to tell sad stories about how alcohol ruined our lives. That's all. No, we're not interesting to do that. Oh, oh, yeah, you don't have a choice, though. We're coming in. We're coming in. We're bringing, you, hi. We're bringing chairs. It'll be fun. The people are all cool. They're nice people. You in a... No, 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 no. Some of them are ex-customers. You're not TABC... You're not TABC. If, if anything to do to the liquor store, TABC has to permission to come here and do anything stuff. Well, You're not TABC. It's too late. We're coming in. We're coming in and we're bringing chairs. Aww. Let's see if he picks back up. That didn't sound like he's picking back up. Okay. Well, whoever told me... <laughs> say we're having an AA meeting. Good job on that one. I bought a new phone number. Did I mention this already? I bought a new phone number today with Callcentric. And it's a, it's a number in Tennessee. And I'm calling from that number. So if any of these people decide to call me back, it's going to ring. It's going to be great. I bought a, a, a phone number just for that. Because before, the number I was using, like it was showing up in uh, Google results as PLA. Bradley Lickers. Hey, Bradley Liquors. Um, my name is Kevin. Uh, I, I go to school here in uh, Bradley Beach at the high school. Hello? Hey. <laughs> Did she not hear me? Hello? Hey, can you hear me? She just hangs up immediately. What the fuck? Okay, all right. I'll... 
I'll try that one back sometime, I guess. I don't know why she's doing that. The hell, lady. All right, Buttons Liquor. Buttons Liquor. I don't get it. But ons Liquor. No, that doesn't work. Hello, Buttons Liquor. How may I help you? Hey, uh, this is Brad. I'm a student o over here at the high school, and I need to find out like what kind of alcohol is popular with the kids these days. Cause Sorry, I, what? What kind, of, what kind of alcohol is popular with the kids these days? With kids? Yeah, with the you know with the teenagers, because I I you teenagers know teenagers are not allowed to drink. Oh, well, they do though. So I, I'm just it's just that I'm not that popular, and I've been tasked with getting alcohol for the party coming up this weekend. Um, I'm sorry, I can't let you sell to or provide anything for minors. Yeah, well, I am a minor, so it's okay. No, nope. goodbye. No, look. <laughs> H-Town Cactus says that's his idea. I like that idea. I want to get someone more... Well, here, let me call her back. <laughs> McScat says I'm throwing a risky business party. That's it. <laughs> oh, did she hang up? I didn't hear her pick up. Uh, Lou Skunt wants me to clarify that I'm a minor, not a minor. Get it? Hello, Button. Here, help me help you. Hey, um, you hung up on me. Look, it's not a big deal. Again, I, and I will call the cops on you. No, I have a fake ID. It's fine. I, I buy there all the time. I buy there. Call their again. Okay, I will. And I will call the cops on you. I don't want you to call the cops on me. I have a fake ID. Well, do not call again. I've bought from you guys before. It's not all a big right, deal. Enough with this prank. I'm a good. Call again, and I will call the. The what? Are you done, sir? Were you saying FBI? I said the police. Okay, well, it sounded like you, like, started to say FBI or something. Like, weird. I'm like, why would you call them? I had enough trouble with them. <laughs> yeah, somebody in the chat said that, you know, no liquor store is going to believe anything you tell them because they're used to getting pranked all the time, especially places with names like Pit Liquor, Richard's Liquor, Love Child Liquor, <laughs> Outlet Liquor, Big Cat Liquor, Friendly Package Liquors, Flix Package Liquors, In the Sack Liquors, Butt Drugs, Trump's Liquor, BJ Liquor, <laughs> this is a really long list by the way, Ball Liquors, Kickapoo Red Ball Liquor, Poo Liquor, 19th Hole Liquor, South Valley Liquor. Okay, let me go back to the top of the list. Let's call another one. I need to get some alcohol for my risky business party coming up. Coming up this weekend. Hookers and liquor. Pit liquor. How can I help you? Hey, is this Pit Liquor? Yes. How okay. can I help you? Uh, my name is Brad. I am a high school student here in Pittsburgh. And I need to get alcohol for a party this weekend for my fellow high school students. Do you know what kind of alcohol is popular with the teenagers? Teenagers can drink alcohol. Oh yes, they can. I've seen no. it. I've seen it myself. They 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 drink better than anyone, you know. Now if they are underage, I won't sell them. Oh no, I've got a fake ID. It's fine. I'm, I'm going to be coming in and buying it. I I look older. I, I look older than I am. And I have a fake ID, so it's fine. I don't know what can I do with you, okay? okay. Why don't you get phone by yourself? Why don't I what? Oh. <laughs> what did she say? What was her zinger? I didn't un understand. <laughs> I gotta try that at least one more time. Cowboys Lakers. Hey there, uh, this is Brad. I, I just needed to find out what kind of alcohol is popular with the, the kids these days. Um, the, with the kids? Well, with the teenagers. Uh, considering the fact we don't sell the teenagers, I honestly wouldn't know. Well, no, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a teenager. I, I'm, I'm in charge of getting the liquor for a party this weekend, and I don't really know my liquor that well. I, I just need to find out, like... What should I buy? 
Like, I don't want to end up buying gay liquors. Okay, there he goes. He hung up. Nobody wants to help out a, a teenager in need. Let's try Richard's liquor. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not a cop. I'm just a teenager. It's fine. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I needed to let you know my kids are going to be coming in there in a little bit. I, w- I was in there earlier today. I hid my kids' Easter eggs inside your store. Uh-huh. And there's Easter eggs all over your store, and our church group, they're going to be coming in there soon with kids, and they're going to be finding the Easter eggs. Are you sure in Richard Liquor? Yeah, Richard's Liquor on Kirby Drive. Uh-huh. There's going to be a group of church kids coming there in just a little bit to find their Easter eggs. It's going to be so cute. Be, but okay. Oh no, it's gonna be cute. They're all cute kids. We don't let ugly kids in our church. <laughs> okay. So that that is that okay? Because I didn't know that that I didn't know that little kids couldn't come in a liquor store. I honestly didn't know that. No, they really. I'm sure they're gonna be with an adult. Yeah, yeah, they'll be with uh, several adults, like uh, you know, the Sunday school um, teachers and stuff. They're all going to be with them, and they're just going to come in there. They'll be in there like maybe 15 minutes tops. They they just got to find all the Easter eggs. I was in there earlier today buying some liquor, and I, I hit about 50 Easter eggs all over your store. Okay. Have I you, hope no one else found them and did away with them. Well, we're going to stay there until we find all of them. Have you found any yet? I'm not sure, but the guys who stock stuff could have found them and did away with them. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully they'll find most of them because they're not leaving until they find all 50. Okay. Next time, please inform me of doing something like that. Okay. I'm sorry. It just uh, just seemed like a good idea at the time. Thank you. Bye. She's okay with it. She's going to let a church group of kids come into her liquor store. Over at Richard's Liquors. Thanks for that one, Tim Riggy. May I help you? Hello. Uh, I need some advice about liquor. Yes. Uh, I'm. I've got jury duty tomorrow. Can you recommend what type of liquor I I should drink during jury duty? Jury duty. Yes. I, I I've got a flask. <laughs> I've got a secret drinking uh, device thing. You should have uh, espresso, brother. Espresso? What's that? Espresso. Coffee. Oh no, I want liquor. I want I want to yeah. I want lots I of liquor. I cannot help you with that advice, brother. I need something that's not going to be on my breath cuz I don't want people yeah. to notice. No, it's going to be on your breath no matter what you're going to drink. Oh, there's got to be something like something that doesn't have a lot of smell to it. I don't have no advice for that, sir. Why not? I thought you were well, a liquor store. Okay, buddy. What are you watching on TV? All right. Apparently, that idea of I Regret Jumping's totally sucked. Thanks a lot, I Regret Jumping. Love Child Liquor. That's what we're calling next. And and because it's Love Child Liquor, I'm going to use a, a, a child theme. A love child theme. Hey, uh, I have a question for you. Uh, I have, um, I, I've got to go to uh, my kid's play at the, the grade school tonight. Uh-huh. You know, it's a play. You know what a play is? Like a kid's play? I don't know. Like they're doing Hamlet or some, something, some no. shit? No. You know? oh, so you're not going to understand anything I say to you, so this basically wouldn't be funny. I know what you say, but I don't know. Where is that? I, I'm going to be... What? What did you say? Okay, I'm going to a school tonight, a little kid's school, a grade school. Uh-huh. It's for teachers' meetings, and I need uh-huh. to know what kind of liquor I should bring with me to drink secretly, because oh, I don't want it to smell on my breath. You know? I don't know. I thought you were a liquor store. Can't you give me advice? Yeah, this is a liquor store, but if you drink a liquor, you're going to smell it. Yeah, but sure. I need something that's not smelly. Try Hansi. What? 
Try Hansi. Hansi? Yeah. How do you spell that? Hannesy. H E N N E S S Y. Oh, Hannesy. Okay. Yeah. And you, that doesn't smell as much because I'm going to a kid's play tonight. There's going to be lots of little kids so, around. Yeah. I don't think so. It's, it smells like that much. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm going to come You're in welcome. and try to buy that. All right. You're very helpful, sir. Thank you so much. Hang up on me. I don't care. King Richard wants me to say I'm currently underage, but I have a time machine and will be, be and will be buying liquor for my future self. I should just say I'm going to buy liquor for when I turn 21. I'm just going to, you know, like just stockpile it until I until I get old enough. That's a great idea. So can I help you, please? Hey, uh, I need to find out um, if you have like some kind of liquor that doesn't have a lot of smell to it, because I'm going to a, a kid's play like grade school play tonight for my kid and i, I want to be able to drink during the whole thing but like i just don't want anyone to smell it <laughs> let's try one more time this one's called outlet liquor i don't get it yeah uh, she's just picking up and hanging up now all right big cat liquor Get it? I was born 38 years ago, but I self-identify as underage. Can I, uh... That's from Johnny Lemon. Thanks for calling Flix. How can I help you? Hey there. Um, I just have a question about uh, your types of liquors. Like, do you, do you know if you have anything there that doesn't smell too strongly? Um... But it'll work really well? Possibly Everclear. Everclear? Yeah. Um, People okay. make cleaning products out of it. That's all I know. Oh, okay. I was not aware of that. I've just got this um, uh, kid's play to go to tonight. Like it's at a grade school and I want to be able to drink oh. uh, the entire <laughs> thing. Um, I don't want people to smell it, you know. No. And then, and then we have alcohol is alcohol. You could try vodka. It's a little bit less obnoxious. Okay, but can I drink a lot of vodka and they still won't smell it? No. Because I need to be able to get through. This is like a two-hour play, and then we have teachers' meetings. Oh, for God's sakes. That sounds horrible. Yeah, yep. I'm, I'm going to need a good uh, three hours. I really worth. can't help you with that. Do you um, give a teacher's discount? No. Do you have any kind of discount? Flicks Club membership that costs $60 a year. Wow, that's that's kind of like the opposite of a discount, isn't it? <laughs> well, you end up making your money back and then some. Why don't we just not do it then? What kind of cleaning products um, have vodka? Well, I didn't ask her. She just bought um, two half gallons and said she made her own cleaning products. So I assume everything, you know, oh. window cleaner, so on and so forth. Oh, window cleaner has alcohol in it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, yeah. So I, I basically could just just drink Windex? Cause that if you want to die. <laughs> well, you just said it's it has alcohol toxic. in it. It's a different alcohol. You Already. I have other customers, so I'm sorry, sir. I can't help you. Why? Because I'm not a member of your, <laughs> of your scam? Let's see what's next. In the sack, liquors. Doesn't even make sense. Not funny. In the sack, I may help you. Hey there, uh, I needed to find out if you have uh, liquor for dogs. Liquor for dogs? Yeah, my dog enjoys the liquor, but I didn't know if it was bad for him, because I get the really the really uh, potent stuff. Like, do you know what kind of liquor is best for dogs? Or do you have, like, something that's designed specifically for dogs? No, we don't. What would you uh, suggest for that? Uh, I wouldn't suggest anything for not liquor. Why not? I mean, I've never heard giving liquor to a dog. So. What? Come on. Have you ever watched YouTube? There's like tons of videos where people give liquor to their dogs. Yeah, but I mean, I honestly wouldn't. I mean, it, we have all kinds of vodka and whiskey. So, so you'd, you'd probably you'd suggest giving vodka to my dog? I'm not sure. What would you... I don't know. What do you think would be best for my dog? Vodka or whiskey? Or Firebolt? 
I usually give him fireball. Uh, we're out of fireball. Do you have dogka? No, we don't. <laughs> All right. They should make that a thing, though, you know? Yeah, they probably should. Okay. Um... I don't know. Do you have a dog or a cat? Because I get both my dog and my cat liquor all the time. They love it. Uh, I do have a dog, yeah. You work at a liquor store and you've never given your dog liquor? Never. Why not? I never thought about doing it. You should try it. Try it tonight. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. They, They love it. They have a great time. Anything else I can help you with? I guess not. Um, since you can't really help me at all, you're just naming off random alcohols. You don't like. Is there someone else there that would know the answer? No. Do you have like any peanut butter flavored booze? We do not. Because dogs love peanut butter. Yeah, I would try contacting Seagulls. It's another liquor store. Okay, I'll try that then. All right, are thanks. They, are, going. are they your competition, or do you guys work with them? Do you work together? No, we don't work together. Why are you giving me your competition's number? I mean, it's weird. that's another place I would suggest to get liquor for your dog. Okay. I'll try that, I guess. Th- All thanks. Right. thanks for not being very knowledgeable about your product. No problem. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Hang up now. Hang up the phone. All right, there he goes. By the way, I've heard that it's really, really bad to give your dog and cat liquor. Never done that before. (laughs) Apparently their livers aren't built for it. You'll kill them. Don't do that. Even though that guy is going to tonight, he's probably going to kill his dog. At least my listeners should not kill their kill their dogs. It's not cool. That was Cody No Name's idea. According to I Regret Jumping. I guess he was asking for liquor ideas inside the Discord. Dogs love weed though. Dogs and cats. Give them all the weed they want, just not liquor. As we determined a few weeks ago, Indiana hello? doesn't do Oh hello, is this Trump's liquor? Sorry, wrong number. It's not the liquor store? No, sir. Sorry, wrong number. Where, where are you? Who is it? Do not call this number. I, I want to talk to Trump's liquor. Why, why are you telling me it's the wrong number? Sorry, wrong number. It's not the wrong number. I'm calling for the liquor store. Oh, okay, I'm calling him right back. Ah, shit. Sorry, everyone. Let's try that again. Get ready. Turn your volumes down. It's just busy now. Man, he was not happy about being asked about Trump's liquor. Oh, here we go. Man, he just hangs up. I guess Trump's liquor doesn't want our business. We're going to call Maine Liquor. How's that a funny title, I Regret Jumping? It's just called Maine Liquor. It's not funny. Quit sending me not funny numbers. They're not even answering. That's what you get for sending a not funny number. The next one's funny. Lick her chest. <laughs> get it? <sighs> okay. Let's call that one. Lick her chest. Lick her chest, I can help you. Hey there. Um, this is Pastor Roy from the Trinity Baptist Church. Sorry? This is Pastor Roy from the Trinity Baptist Church here in town. Okay. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be coming in there. Like me and the other people from the church, we're going to be protesting. We're going to come in your store and hold up signs. No, you can't do that. Oh, yes, we can. We're definitely doing it. We're going to be there in about 10 minutes. We're going to hold up signs and we're going to yell at customers. I do whatever you want. Well, okay, you said we can't, but then you Good said we can, so we're going to do it. Good luck with it. We now Good have luck your, with it. You just said we have permission. Thank you. We're coming inside your store. 
and form a protest line right in front of the door from the inside. Liquor test, I can help you. Hey, liquor test. Um, can you tell me how? Um, what's the maximum capacity of your store? Because we have sixty people coming from the church. We have three church vans full. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm making fun of your list. I regret jumping. It's a great list. We've had fun with it. We've had people get upset that I'm a high school student asking about liquor. They won't give me advice on jury duty. BS Liquor. Hey, um, uh, this is Pastor Roy from the Trinity Baptist Church here in St. Helen. Yeah. And I needed to let you know we're um, on our way over there right now. We're going to be holding a protest inside your store just for about an what? hour. For about an hour. We're going to be <laughs> coming inside your store to, to hold up signs and just, you know, just a general protest, normal everyday protest. Uh, for what? Uh, just because it's a liquor store and liquor is... You know, it's it's kind of like the devil, and we're just okay. going to be holding up signs, yelling at customers. We'll be respectful, though. Okay. We're going to be uh, oh. making a, a protest line, like right in front of the door, so people can't. Um. We're going to be. They uh, can't enter the store. Well, they can come inside the store, but they can't really walk around because we're going to lock arms and just make a wall. Well then. Okay. Um, why are you calling? And I, I just work here, so do oh, I, I need to fi- notify the owner? Or oh yeah, you might want to call. Oh, I don't care what you do. I just I think we're, okay. re- we're, we're re- required by law to let law you know to, that to inform me. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to be coming okay. in there. We're going to have signs. Um, do you have any okay. like hanging signs from the ceiling? Because I don't want to like knock your signs over with our signs. In the ceilings. Yeah, you know, do you have any signs that are hanging down? Because, like, we're going to have picket signs, and we're going to be marching around in circles, like, moving our signs up and down and, and chanting things? No, we have nothing except for ceiling fans. Are they low enough that they're going to hit our signs? I'm sorry? Are they, the ceiling fans, no, are I they... No, I mean, it's pretty high. It's, a, it's shaped like a, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's pretty high ceiling, so oh, okay. I don't know. I just, uh, you know, yeah. I didn't want to cause any damage while we're in there. Um, do okay. You, do you know what the maximum capacity is of your store? Because I don't want to violate no, any fire codes. We're going to have like 60 people come in there all at once. Um, I don't know what the maximum capacity is for okay. the store. Okay, well, we're just going to have yeah. s- all 60 of us come in all at once then. We're going to march around for about an hour, and we're not going to buy anything. Okay. And they're probably, right. they're not going to say anything to you, but they're probably all going to give you, like, um, snake eyes, just to just kind of look at you. Okay. As they, as they march by with their signs. All right. And they're going to, like, like you, you know, like, wave their signs at you, like you personally, and, and uh, all the customers that come in. They're just going to be waving their signs around all, not threatening-like, but you know what I mean. They're just going to be waving them, like... Yeah, you're drinking Satan's piss, basically. Okay. Okay. So all this is fine then? Well, no, but I mean it's not up to me. So yep. I just work here. Yep. <laughs> not much. You can, <laughs> not okay. much you can do. Have you ever thought about like uh, not selling liquor and maybe going to church for once in your life? Um. Okay. That's the thing that got her to hang up. That was BS liquor. We need um we need like slogans to chant. You know, as as we march around inside the store. Downtown liquor. <laughs> That's a good one. Downtown liquor, get it? Downtown liquor. Hey, uh, I needed to find out. Um, I was in there earlier today, and I left something in, you you know where your cooler is, like back in the cooler, where we're not supposed Uh, to... Which one, sir? The, uh, uh, 
beer cooler or the uh, Coke cooler? The I, I don't know. It's the one like you go into the back room and then there's a cooler door and you walk in. Oh, okay. Like yeah, um, the beer cooler. Yeah, yeah. I went in there. I was hanging out inside the cooler for a while. Mm-hmm. And uh, I left something behind. Well, uh, I'm not really sure. You, what are you? What am I looking for? Um, well, it, it'll be right next to the. I had a bottle. I opened up a bottle while I was in there and opened it up, and I was drinking it. So you'll see a bottle sitting around there somewhere. <laughs> okay, is this a joke? No, no, I wouldn't joke. All right, well, there's nothing. So, well, maybe you're in the wrong cooler then. I'm in the cooler that we weren't. Sp- I wasn't supposed to be in. <laughs> All right, this is a prank call. I, I gotta hang up now. It's not a prank call. Why? Why are you just assuming it's a prank call? I'm just, I'm a customer. I'm trying to ask you a serious question. I don't see anything in there, sir. Well, maybe I left it, like, laying around the store. I left my weed pipe in the store because I was in the cooler smoking. All right. Well, did, again, I don't see anything. Did you did you look around? Can you at least try to look around instead of just I'm pretending? I'm actually in the cooler. didn't sound like you are. <laughs> well, I am. Well, it sounds like you're just lying to me just to try and get me off the phone as quickly as possible. <laughs> I am not lying, I promise you. If you would like to come in, I have no problem helping you out. Okay. Maybe I'll just go hang out in the cooler again without telling you like I did last time. Alright, not a problem. Fine. Whatever. Alright, bye-bye. Bye. The guy was untrollable. I completely messed up downtown liquor. But it's okay, because next is 69 liquors. Let's look at more of I Regret Jumping's ideas. So I was in there last week, lost a child, 12 male, about 4'9", responds to Dylan. See, that's what I should have said. <laughs> like, like, what'd you lose, my kid? Uh, he gave me a bunch of uh, celebrity um, alcohol brands that I could ask for. So let's call 69 Liquors. Crown Liquors. Hey, I thought this was 69 Liquors. It used to be. Oh. It's only Crown Liquors until June, so. Oh, then what's it turn into after June? I don't know. Wow. Depends on the new owners. Well, the only reason this was on the list is because it was called 69 Liquors. Yeah, Crown never changed it. I don't know why. I so. see. Well, I needed to find out if you sold a certain brand of liquor there. Okay. Give uh, me a name. Uh, it's called Justin Beer Eber Ale. Uh, it's I think we do. Let me check. Well, Name sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh, well, he's the pop singer. Either that or we did. And they keep moving things on me, so give me a moment. Yeah. We. We had it. Really? Uh, uh, Justin Beer not Eber? In its normal spot. Let me look on the other side. They keep moving things on me. Yeah, I remember. Because I know when I first started here last year, I do remember them having it, and now I am not. What about Amy Winehouse Boxed Wine? Uh, the only box wine we have is Vela and Franzia. Oh, you don't have any? I've it. <laughs> Amy Winehouse? No. Do you have Bill Cosby's <coughs> Giggle Juice? No. Uh, Charlie Sheen's Tiger Beer? I've never even heard of that one. <laughs> yeah, it's my wife's favorite. Um, Charlie Sheen's Tiger Blood? No. David Hasselhoff's Floor Burger Vodka? <laughs> no. Uh, that sounds like all stuff in California. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, maybe. I don't know. But no, I, I, I don't think know we, either. we bought it there before. Um, I mean, you you had the Justin Beer Eber the ale, though, right? At one time, yeah, but I am not seeing it now. And I'm looking, and I don't 
see where they've moved it. What about Andy Dick's Dick Juice Wine? Mm, no. I know we don't have that one. Oh. Do you have um, Dan Aykroyd's Body Fluid Protecting Pure Grain Alcohol? Mm, nope. Hmm. Are you still looking for this? The is, this is a small area liquor store, so you probably won't find any of that stuff here. Yeah. Probably like downtown Indianapolis, you might have better luck. Me. So. But, like, did you find the Justin Beer Eber ale yet? No, I did not. Shoot. No. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Do you have uh, discounts for teachers? Uh, no. Okay. Do you have Carrot Tops carrot flavored vodka? No. Do you have Lindsay Lohan's gingerbread snatch scotch? No. Johnny Walker's second harvest? No. We got Johnny Walker, but we don't have that one. Um, do you have uh, ICP's Juggalo juice? No. Hold on. I have another call. Hello? Hi, just called You're still with store? me. Yeah, oh, no, I'm, I'm talking to these other people. Oh, okay. It's Downtown Liquor is calling me. Hey, Downtown Liquor. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. What's up? Uh, you just called me earlier about uh, something you left in the cooler. Yeah, yeah. Did you find it? Uh, I think so. W- what'd you find? Uh, an open container. Oh, okay, great. And and was the weed pipe next to it? Uh, I did not find your weed pipe, though. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Because that's what I really wanted. It was an expensive pipe. Oh, the other uh, yeah. Way. If you want to come back and show me where it was, I could probably help you out. <sighs> okay. Uh, which, which... Oh, uh, do you know around what time it was? Oh, I don't remember. You know, it's been a crazy day. I've been drinking... Today, though, right? Smoke. Yeah, definitely today. What, what type Earlier of... Earlier in the day? Shut up. What type of open container did you find? It was a beer container. Oh, beer? I thought I had a liquor thing. No wonder I'm not feeling that drunk. Mm. I don't know. That's what I saw. Hey, do you know what what type of liquor will make me forget my favorite movie because I want to watch it for the first time again? Yeah, what type of liquor is that? I'm asking you, like, what what should I drink to make me forget my favorite movie? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Okay. Just thought I'd check. Maybe you knew. Uh, I mean, I work here. I don't drink everything. Okay. Well, you don't have to be a dick about it. I was just asking. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I'm just saying I don't, you know, we don't get to try out everything. Okay, all right. Okay, well, I'm glad you found my open container. Um, I don't really need the rest of it because it's not like I paid for it. All right, no problem, sir. Well, if I find your, uh, your pipe, do you want me to call you back at this number? Yes, please. Hello? Yes, please. I'll give you five bucks for it. Sounds perfect, sir. All right. What's your name again? Uh, this is Roy. Roy. Uh, All right, Roy. Uh, I'll give you a call back if I find out. I'm going to keep looking. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. Bye. So he didn't have a problem with my open container. That's weird. And he completely ruined my call. I was using ideas from the chat room, like Samuel Jackson's <laughs> Simple Syrup. Hold on, I have to call her back. No, she's not going to pick up. She's, she's had enough with this phone shit. According to the Discord room, uh, Justin Bierber Ale was uh, Katie Baker's idea. Good job on that, Katie Baker. They actually had it, though, according to that lady, so maybe she didn't even make that up. Maybe it's real. It's probably Katie Baker's favorite drink. South Bend Liquor Store. Hey, South Bend Liquors. Um, I needed to find out if you sell a certain type of liquor there. What type would that be? Uh, it's called it's called Chris Brown's Punch. Nope, never even heard of it. Okay, what about uh, Mel Gibson's Blood of Christ? No. Um, do you have Impractical Joker's Larry Liquor? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? No. Why is that funny? <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> uh, Ch- um, Chad's Punch Drunk Juice. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, do you Who have, is this? This is Roy. I, I work down at the church. At the church? Yeah. Do you have Bruce Willis's bestiality bourbon? Oh, my word. I'm just asking. I'm asking, like, this is the list they gave me to ask. 
at the church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah. I don't see anything else I can do for you. <laughs> so, well, well, do you not have that one, the bestiality bourbon? Yeah, no, pretty just pretty lame drinks here. Okay, um, Jenny McCarthy's Dead Baby Blues. Oh my word, dude! Seriously. I'm just asking. That this is what they asked me to ask for. Um, Samuel Jackson's Simple Syrup. Got simple syrup. Oh, uh, do you have Samuel Jackson's Simple Syrup? Because it's like a. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm done, dude. Well, hold on. Do you have moist, moist towelette flavored vodka? I'm, I'm done. That's have for, a lovely day. That's for Tim Riggy. <laughs> well, at least she thought it was funny. <laughs> South Bend Liquors. Oh, look at this. We got Dong Liquor. <laughs> OJ Simpsons, this is just a hypothetical. Blues Brothers Best Batch, <laughs> Jared Fogel's Underage Wine, <laughs> Hospital Smell Flavored Schnapps, that sounds delicious, Robin Williams Swing Juice, oh shit, so, uh, Dragon Mirror says I Regret Jumping Insulted Hansen, where's that one? I gotta see that one so I don't accidentally say it someday, oh Hansen's mm, Barf. <laughs> All right, Dong Liquors. Dong Liquor. Oh, this is liquor. Hey there, uh, this is Reverend Roy from the Trinity Baptist Church. Yes, what can I do for you? Uh, my brother is coming in there to buy some liquor. In about 30 minutes, he should be there. He just left in the car. And uh, he's an alcoholic, so can you not can can you hide all the liquor that's in the store? Just hide it real quick. Good idea. Like put it in the back. Could you please? What else? Could you please do that for me? What else you need? That that's it. Could you please hide all the liquor? Okay. Hide all the alcohol. Thank you. Have a nice day. Why are you be saying thank you? Are you going to do it or not? You can start your brother by coming here. I cannot hide the liquor. Uh, but he's already left. He's in the car. He's already left. I don't have a car. There's no way for me to stop him. You just have to... Okay. <laughs> he started to argue with me, but then... Nope. Didn't want to argue. That was almost Cody No Name's idea, but I changed it up a little bit. There's also an idea in here that says Kiefer Sutherland's coming to town. You need to hide everything they have. Everything. A school bus of hobos is coming in for free grab bags of airline bottles. Okay, Tim Riggy. Mom and pop liquors. Ew, gross. I wonder if that downtown liquor that called me back, was he just trying to scare me? Like, ooh, I got your number. The number you have dialed is not in service. Okay. The number is not in service. King Cork Liquor. <laughs> Dragon Mirror has a good idea. He wants to me to tell them they need they need to accommodate my disability, which is kleptomania. Right, liquors. I don't get it. Explain the joke to me. I regret jumping. Red liquors, please. Hello. Hey, hey Steve, I have a question. Yes. I need to find out if you comply with the Disabilities Act of 2002. What exactly is it? Um, well, I just, uh, I have a, a disability. Do you accommodate disabilities there? That's not, uh, what, are you, what are you getting to? What exactly do you need, do you need from us? Well, do, do you accommodate disabilities there? I need to find out, like, before I come in there, like, do you accommodate disabilities? Are you okay with disabled people? Uh, what kind of disability? I mean, if they're not mm. supposed to be drinking, if they're on a bunch of medication... Oh, no, serve. no, no, it's nothing like that. It's it's nothing nothing that affects my health exactly. Yeah, that's it's, fine. Okay, because uh, my disability is kleptomania. I, so, would, uh, I don't know exactly what that is. Oh, it means I steal everything. 
Like I, I like I'll uh, pr- most likely be shoplifting while I'm in there. Uh oh, that doesn't sound like good. Well, you already said that you comply with the Disabilities Act, and it's actually required by law that you comply with the Disabilities Act of 2002. I'm sorry? So you are required to comply with the Disabilities Act of 2002, and that includes my kleptomania disability. So I'm... Can I get to the point? What do you need from me, buddy? I just wanted to make sure you compl- that, that you uh, accept disabled people in your store. Yes, well, uh, there's definitely no, uh, not, not allowed to steal anything, but okay. What do you mean there's not welcome a lot to, to steal? There's welcome to come, no. Stores filled with alcohol. The money and you're sober, you're not too over-served, then, yep, I can serve you. Well, it's fine if you, I don't care if you over-serve or not, because I'm going to be stealing all the alcohol. <laughs> he found that very amusing. Good one, Dragon Mirror. These liquor store people, they're kind of laid back, I've noticed. And they're probably used to prank calls. Hot spot liquors? Let's see. Uh, I was in there last week. Lost my child. Nah. They failed to warn me that alcohol would cause me to run from the police and I'm suing them. Okay. Don't be a punk. Fight a drunk. That's chicken slap sign idea. We should all form a protest group. Like, if we ever do a real PLA meeting... Big Red, what's my show? Oh, hey. Hello? Is this Big Red hey. L- Liquors? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, whoa, settle down. You're, you're, you're going too fast. Hello, how can I help you tonight? Um, well, I didn't... Uh, I was not warned by your store there. I was in there uh, yesterday, and I bought some liquor. Uh-huh. And you guys didn't tell me that liquor would cause me to run from the police. What do you mean? Because I got I got arrested last night, and I ran away from the police. I like, you know, I, I I drove my car around, and they finally stopped my car, and I got out of the car and started running, and the police chased uh-huh. me. I got tased, and then I got put in jail overnight, and my dad had to come and bail me out. Okay. But no, you guys didn't tell me that that would happen just from drinking. Okay, that's not our responsibility to tell you that. It kind Are of you is. Twenty one, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm over 21. It's just like, but okay. there sh- should have been like a, a disclaimer or something. No, there's no disclaimer. Sorry about that. Well, there should be a disclaimer. That's why I'm going to be suing you. Okay, would you um, like to talk to the manager? I'm going to be sending a process server over. Yeah, sure. Put the manager on okay. if, if you can't deal with it, yeah, sure. lady. Just a second. Sure, the manager is going to see it my way. Hello. Thank you for holding. This is Brad. What can we do for you? Hey, Brad. Uh, this is Roy. Um, I I was uh, in there yesterday. I bought a couple of your Colt forty fives. Okay. And there was no disclaimer, and nobody told me that it would make me run from the police. So I probably got uh, a lawsuit coming your way. Okay. Because uh, I was chased by the police because of this alcohol. It caused me to drive away from the police at high speeds. I could have been killed, to be honest. And then when they finally stopped my car, I got out of the car and ran away from them. I got tased. I spent the entire night in jail. Okay, and you have a receipt for this? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have the receipt still, and it's on my credit card bill and everything. Okay. So, uh, uh, is, is there something you'd like me to do? Uh, well, just be uh, standing by for the process server to come, because they're going to be serving you with a lawsuit. Okay, and I, I need do. I need my, all my fees paid, my, my, my bond, uh, lawyer fees, just everything. It's going to cost you a pretty penny. Okay, is there anything else I can help you with today? I was basically a Christian before I drank, and now I'm a Satanist, and you didn't warn me of that either. Uh, Is there something you want me to help you with regarding that? 
Well, just to make sure you just, uh, you know, just be standing by for the lawsuit. Okay, like, I think we can handle that. Okay. Also, last night, I fucked an ugly girl, and now she won't stop calling, and I'm going to have to pay to change my phone number, and that's because of you. I, there was no warning. Would you like to stay on the phone so that you don't have to answer any phone calls from the ugly girl? No, because I have call waiting, so it doesn't really do a lot of good. It's beeping right now. She's still calling. Okay, so do you want to get off the phone then so you can talk to the ugly girl? I No, I really just don't want to talk to her at all. I'm probably going to have to change my number thanks to you. Okay, so you want to stay on the phone? What else would you like to talk about? Um, if the ugly girl is pregnant, you're going to have to pay child support. But it's not my child. Yeah, but it's you, did, it's you didn't the, warn it's me not that big red alcohol child. would make me fuck ugly girls. <laughs> So it's alcohol's child. You should talk to alcohol about it. Oh, I think it's you, the person that sold me the alcohol, that should be uh, having a deal with this. And you're going to be. <laughs> okay. Send in the process server over there. She didn't even shave, okay. shave her pits. It was gross. Do you, know, do you know the process server's name? Can you hold on one second? I sure can. Okay. Pussy good enough to eat. Pussy good, pussy sweet. Pussy good enough to eat. My pussy. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. My pussy what in the world is hilarious? I do not understand what's going on right now, but this is amazing. <laughs> We're going to have to pay for his all his legal fees and... He he fucked an ugly girl and now she won't stop calling him, so we're gonna have to pay for that too. And like he just keeps. <laughs> I hope it is something like that, so we can be like, wow, Brad's really good at <laughs> fucking with people trying to fuck with him. <laughs> Hey, did you hear what I was saying? Like, so do you want to stay on the phone? Or do you want to get off the phone? What do you want to do? I don't. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> The estimated hold time is currently less than 96 minutes. You are currently caller number 32, waiting to speak with a representative. Thank you for your patience. Throw your mind, pussy, fucking up your grind, pussy. Call it Cadillac, cause you love the way you ride, pussy. Like high and pussy, that finger I got put on hold. <laughs> they called here and put me on hold. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. This is so bizarre. Like, this is the, the hold music. I got put on hold, and it sounds like a customer representative will be with the company. Your wait time is currently less than 96 minutes. You are number 32 in line. But then that's how you play in the background. Like, I'm tempted to stay on hold and see what happens, but I think I'm just going to... Finally. He hung up. I love how amused he was by the whole thing. It was pretty great. Okay, let's see. What else? <laughs> Tim Riggy wants me to buy hundreds of airline bottles of booze to hand out among the homeless. Wait, what was that I just called? That was, uh, oh, okay. That was Big Red Liquors. T. Michelle wants me to try and sell the moonshine that I'm making illegally out of my garage. I've really been on for two hours almost. Holy shit. Hey, Ashley, come up you. Hey there, um, I need to find out if you will buy liquor from me. Do I buy liquor from you? Yes, I've made uh, moonshine. Are you the supplier? Well, I want to be. I, I make moonshine in my garage. Okay. It's uh, moonshine. You know you know what moonshine is? Yeah, yeah I know the moonshine. Uh, we sell the moonshine here. It's very illegal. Oh no, this is illegal uh, moonshine. This is the good stuff. 
okay yeah but uh, we can we, we don't mind to purchase from you but uh, we we just want to know do you have a permit to sell uh, oh, as no. a wholesale to no, retail we'll, yes? we'll do this hush hush we'll keep this under the table Oh uh, yeah no we can't do because uh, they, they really the liquor commissioner come every couple months to visit every, yeah, every but location right it so looks professional like i'm going to sell it you know those 5 gallon buckets of uh, that they have over there at a uh, home depot those orange buckets mhm i sell you a 5 gallon bucket for $20 it's a good yeah i know but good we price. can we can sell like that man because it has no, to be a properized packaging and uh, all stuff right but, because but they there's a requirement to all our invoice and everything for that. But we won't tell. We won't tell. It's fine. No, no. Uh, no, but uh, we got, uh, we, uh, we get the trouble uh, anyway because uh, they look for uh, invoice and everything. And if we don't provide the invoice, we get the trouble anytime. So, Can we, uh, but we don't do like that, that, that way, you know, without uh, 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 legal uh, all seller. If, we, if he's legal all seller, like I know we have a couple it, companies, the small uh, wine company. Hey, shut up. But they are, they are doing... Uh, uh, the as a wholesaling, you know. Yeah, well, look, I, it looks professional. Like I've got a label on the bucket. It says Matter Chode Moonshine. Yeah, yeah, I understand, but uh, Moonshine I for Banchodes. Moonshine for yeah, Banchodes yeah. is what it's called. Mm-hmm. Matter Chode oh, okay. Moonshine. Yeah, I, I definitely. Uh, uh, it should be a good stuff because you make a home. So yeah, uh, yeah. But, uh, it that's the like, thing. Uh, we, I can't. Tastes like cleaner. I can't. Uh, we can't we, like we liquid, can buy like liquid that. Liquid plumber. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry for that. But you know, like you could just take other types of alcohol bottles there, like out of the dumpster, and and just pour it in there. They'll think you got it from you know a real supplier. And free yeah, free no, money. No, we can we can do like that. So. Free money. You don't have to be yeah, a band. Yeah, I know, but you, we can do like that. You don't have to be a band show about it. No, no, I know, but uh, we can do like that, sir. We we have to be, uh, we have to be keep everything in record, you know. That's, okay. Uh, that's our business policy. Sir. All right, I guess so. Thank you. What if Thank we you. What if we just trade? I'll I'll sell you my moonshine, and in return you can give me some uh, Justin B- Bieber ale. Uh, like, no, we'll, we'll can trade. We can do like anything like that. We'll trade. It'll as be a I trade. Say. Like instead, of, <laughs> I wait. know, but. I know, but uh, as I said, like we can't do. Uh, we have to everything. Anything we have uh, in the store, we have to keep every invoice, individual invoice. You know, Instead of like, you don't have to sell it as alcohol. You could just use it to clean the floors and the windows. No, <laughs> clean the floor and window. Yeah. No, we 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 we, cl- we use as a gla- we use the glass cleaner. Ah, stuff, fucking so. shit. Okay, all right. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Anyway. No problem, man. Thank you. Hey, hey, sir. Yeah. I yeah, lo- yeah. I I love you. Uh, you love me for what? Yeah, I, I just, you know, I just love you. I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> you, you love me for what, but I, I just <laughs> what I, I done? No, n- nothing really. I'm just saying. I just, I love you. <laughs> and if Thank I could, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If 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 I could, if if circumstances were different, I would fuck you. Ah, come on, man. No, I would. I would totally fuck you. <laughs> no, he's gone. Well, I got him to hang up, even though he didn't understand the Ben Chode or Matter Chode stuff. Maybe he wasn't Indian. I really did love him, though. It didn't work out, T. Michelle. <laughs> I tried. All right, let's do a couple more, and then I'm quitting, you guys. It's been two hours. Doing two hour long shows? What the hell? I'm pretty sure he blushed. He was blushing. Hey, Slickers, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Um, I need to find out if you um, if you have those little tiny bottles of booze. Fifteen, sir. You have a good night. I have 100 milliliters. That's the smallest I have. How big is that? I have some like in a package that are 50 milliliters. Oh, 50 milliliters? Like, I want the little ones, like you, the, the kind you find on airplanes. Well, that's what I'm saying. The only ones I have is like in a, it's in a cold pack. I can't sell like one bottle of it. It has to be in like in a cold pack. Oh, no, that's cool because I, I want to buy a bunch of them. I'm going to be, uh, we're doing like a, a thing where we help the homeless and we're going to walk around and just hand them a little, tiny little booze bottles to the homeless. Okay. Like to all the homeless teenagers and stuff. 
Okay. Um, but like, I, I just it's, like I don't I don't know what a hundred milliliters is. I'm I'm not from fucking Europe. Like, is that like a is that like a, a soda can or what is that? No, it's just a, you got those little airplane ones. Yeah, like a little shampoo it's bottle. Huh? It's double that airplane. Oh, it's double. You don't have anything small. The airplane's a fifty milliliter. We need a something. Little airplane bottle. Yeah, something you can hide in your hand, like if a cop comes by. Because we're going to be handing them out, handing them out to uh, underage kids. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. No, like for homeless kids, so it's fine. They're not real people. It does the rules don't apply to them. Yeah. All right. But, but some of them will be uh, over. You just come down here and look and see what we have. Why can't you just tell me what a, a hundred milliliters looks like? Because I I have to wait on other customers. Yeah, but you can do it while you talk so to you me on the phone. you just come down here and look and see what we have. You, you know what I'm talking about, like the wild turkey that, that Thelma drinks and Thelma and Louise. I mean, Louise drinks. No, Thelma. It's Thelma. You know, those little bottles. The ones from airplanes. I have to go. Sorry. Okay, but it is okay with you if we hand these out. Okay. Sorry, Tim Riggy. It's a no-go on that one. <laughs> that was another ace liquor. Oh, what a great idea, Chicken Slap. Can she drink it and we can time her? So we've got brother liquors here, but uh, what the hell? I regret jumping. There's no phone number on it. You forgot the phone number. What are you, drunk? You got the URL. Like, you put the URL instead. and in, He put the URL in here instead of the, instead of the phone number. Ah, uh, what's he thinking? So we're going to call Ball Liquors instead. Yeah, lay off the sauce. Hello? Hello? Hi? Hi, Malpy. Oh, hey, is this Ball Liquors? Yeah, this is Ball Liquors. Okay, um, I need to find out if you sell those tiny bottles of alcohol. The miniature airplane shots? Yeah, those, the airplane ones. How big are yeah, they? Do, How many milliliters? They're like, uh, well, it depends. They're like, they're like um, 50 milliliters. What is that, like an ounce or two ounces? Um, I, I sure, ain't from sure. Japan. This is a small one. Yeah, it's like this, the same kind you'd see in an airplane, though, right? Yeah, th th those are the ones you're talking about. They're 50 milliliters. Great. Do you sell them individually or are they a package? You sell them individually. How much do those cost? Well, it depends which one you're looking for, sir. Um, I don't know. The ones that really get you, you know, the like high, the highest proof possible, the highest, highest proof percentages. Would be the Smirnoff vodka. Smirnoff vodka, and how much are those? Those are two forty nine plus tax. Oh wow, that's a lot. You, do you have anything that's closer to a dollar? Uh, the the only one we have is E and J brandy, which is a dollar nine. Dollar nine. Oh yeah, but brandy. I don't know if that'll do it. Like I, I'm. This is Roy from the Trinity Baptist Church here in San Jose. Huh? Th this is Roy from the Trinity Baptist Church here in San Jose. And we're we're just we want to buy up a whole bunch of those, like like hundreds, because we're gonna go around town and just hand them out to homeless people. Oh, I see. Uh, I mean, we don't have much. Uh, you can just come and talk to my boss. Okay. See if he can order it for you. Okay, we're gonna hand it out to like you know. There's lots of homeless teenagers that hang out over there, not like by downtown. We're, we're gonna uh, we're, we're gonna hand them out to like homeless teenagers and stuff. Uh, I don't think you, you can hand it out to them like that. Oh no, you just can't sell it to them. That's the law. Yeah. Like after we just if we just give it to them, it's like marijuana. You can't sell it to people. You can give it to them though. Yeah. We're just gonna about that. we're gonna give it to teenagers. Uh yeah. All right. If they, get, if they uh, get caught drinking, well, it's their problem. Huh? If they get caught drinking, it's their problem. But you know, they're homeless. They could use the drink. Um, I don't know about that. I don't think you can do that, man. <laughs> no, I, I think you're wrong. Like you don't know what you're talking about. It's just, it's just for. All it's right. like a homeless right. program. I'm with the church. All right. Like churches don't follow the same rules. Okay. Tim Riggy's idea fails again. Damn it, Tim Riggy. Mini alcohol baptisms. Okay, Nicholas Caesar. <laughs> I like how that guy was like, yeah, I'm a ball licker. 
Wood liquor. Poo liquor. Kickapoo red ball liquor. Brittle bit liquors. I'm just going to read the rest of the liquor store names and then, then, then I'm quitting the show. Show's over. Granny's liquor. PP liquor. Johnson liquor. <laughs> liquor barn. 19th hole liquor. Big Valley liquor. <laughs> South Valley liquor. Backdoor liquor. Solo liquor. Certic, Certic liquor. How's that pronounced? I don't know. Oh, Sir Dick. He put it in parentheses for me. It's probably pronounced Sir Dick. Sir Dick liquor. Chili liquor. Savage liquors. Liquor cellar. Mo liquor. Moon liquor. Rocket liquor. Red pocket liquor. Bud's liquor. Booty liquors, knob liquors, big game liquors, <laughs> slick liquors, VJ liquors, <laughs> uh, three ring liquors. Holy shit, this is a long list. I'm gonna have to do another liquor show. Palms liquor, strip liquor, Roy's liquor. What's so funny about the name Roy's liquor? Arby's liquor. Oh, I should call that one before we quit. Let's call Arby's liquor. Mega Package Liquor. Dwight's Cigarette and Liquors. Arby's. Hey, uh, I need to find out if you do any deliveries. No, we don't. Okay, because I work over at the elementary school. Uh, this is Roy. I'm the principal. We're just down the street from you. You know the elementary school? Which one? Uh, it's the brick one. It's it's just uh it's it's like six blocks away. It's like up two blocks and then down four blocks. What is the name of the elementary? Uh it's the 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 the, the, the last the Racine Elementary. That's the one. That's it. This is Arby's liquor, right? Yeah, on Lathrop. Okay. Um, we've got a kid here. That's uh he's doing detention tonight. He's still here. I'm gonna send this kid and I'm gonna give him a note. So he, he's he's about 10 years old. He's going to come in there with a note and get some liquor for me. I'll give him a list and money. I, I can't. Two kids, no. No, it's okay because I've got a note. I'm writing a note for him right now. He's going to come in there, and mm -hmm. he's going to give you the note and the money, and mm -hmm. you just give him what's on the note because I can't leave. I can't leave because I'm the only one left here. Yeah, but he's a if he's a ten year old, I can't. Yeah, but he he's ten. Like he he's a mature looking ten. No. No, it's fine because I, I I'll, I'm gonna send him with my driver's license. He'll bring my driver's license with him. No, it is it is it is against the law. I can't because if he give me the money, mm -hmm. then that means he buying. Okay, I'm gonna call him on his cell phone, and we'll do video chat. And I will give you permission on video on video chat. No, you, you'll, you'll no have, but I can't do that. You'll have a video of me, video phone. Well, I'm going to tell you on video that it's fine. Go ahead and sell this ten-year-old liquor. It's okay. No, 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 I can't because if you if you want to send the kids with the, any other adult guy, I can like uh, sell, but. For only one kid, the ten-year-old, I can't. I'm basically going to be there with him, though, because it's going to be on video chat. I'm, he'll he'll have the phone running when he comes in. It's like I'm walking in with him. Like he he's he he doesn't even wet the bed anymore. He he's ten. No. He promises he won't drink it on the way back to the school. Sorry, I can't because no I under. Underage, I cannot sell. No, but it's it's like I identify as a smartphone parent. So, uh, the, like you're discriminating if you don't let me do this. I just really need some alcohol. Is it just uh, uh, he's just gonna buy like a, a six pack of Fireball. Sorry, sir. Also, this kid, his name's Justin. He he identifies as a 21 year old. D don't assume his age. No, no. No, that, that's what he identifies as. It, no, no, no. It's, I can't. it's 2018. Get with the times. 
No, no. He's my emotional support kid, so it's legal. No, no. What do you mean, I no? Can't. No, I, I really need this. I, I have to have this. I'm, I'm here for another three hours. I need alcohol. Sorry, sir. I cannot. Okay, how much is it going to cost? Like extra? Like 20 bucks? No, no way. Uh, 40 bucks. No way, sir. Please. Okay, look, I host a podcast, and if you don't sell this 10-year-old alcohol, I'm going to talk bad about you on the podcast. I, I've got a, a big listening audience here, okay. in, here in the city. You can, do, you can do, but I cannot sell the 10-year-old kid's alcohol, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send him in an Uber. <laughs> Why would he why would he sit there and argue with me? <laughs> Those were all chat room ideas. Thanks chat room for all of that. Let's see what's left. We've got uh Dwight's, oh yeah. Um 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 poon liquors, cork liquors, horseshoe liquors, fat toad liquor, twin peaks liquor, and that's it. That's all. That's all the liquors. Wasted Memory says, holy shit, I know that guy. I don't believe you, Wasted Memory. Where do you live? What city? Tell us right now. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you, chat room, for, like, all the ideas and stuff. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, I regret jumping for the list. I'm definitely going to have to do another liquor store list at some point. Because, holy crap, I don't think I even got through half of these. You know, me and Olga and King Richard, we tried to do some of these. Oh, wait, did we? No, we couldn't do it because we were going to. We were hanging out outdoors. Uh, my phone couldn't read your uh, weird RTF file here. Who the hell uses an RTF file anymore? <laughs> Rich text format. I think it came up, but I couldn't copy off of it. Copy and paste into the phone. It's all your fault. We tried to, though. We were going to do some of these the other day. Hey, Brad, it's Tim Speak. I figured I should probably call you one of these days. Uh, first off, happy Kickstarter funding day. Thank uh, you. Two things about that. I was being smart, and I put my Patreon name in the last question on that survey. And uh, Yeah, you know what I forgot to do? I'm so stupid. I had intended to put a section on the survey for people to tell me what their Patreon name was that would help me, uh, you know, just kind of know who's who. And maybe not double up on the envelopes and send people two packages and save myself on postage. But I can't change those surveys. They're done. I completely forgot to ask you guys for your Patreon names. So, oh well. I'll figure it out manually, I and guess. We, Andy Anderson will pretty much fuck anyone's shit up. Did you hear that, Go Cup guy? You better watch yourself. That's right. right. Keeping it short. Bye. Bye. Yeah, at least I put the survey on there that said who's going to win in a battle to the death. And I think Sensei Doug is winning on the survey. Hey, Brad. Hey. Will, once again. Yeah, man. Hey, Will. So, uh, yeah, I was just doing some more prank calls. Ended up having the cops called on me. Oh, you dummy. Thanks a lot, man. Making yeah. me getting in trouble. Thanks to you, Brad. I know yep. you're just an inspiration, but I still blame you. Uh-huh. Uh, I gotta change my number. But, uh, yeah, I would, wow. uh, I, I would love to see some more people getting butt slammed. You know, the Skippy and Dippy morning show is probably the most outrageous funny thing was that you've done. I didn't do that at all today. Um, people wanting an explanation and people saying, no, you can't air it. That's the best shit. But uh, yeah. other than that, I'm trying not to hit over 30 seconds. Uh, you failed. Good shit, Brad. Love you. 45 seconds. 454. Peace out. 50 seconds. That's such a long voicemail. What the hell? Brad, uh, who uh, played the outro song on a snowplow show episode 453 kind of sounded like a no. butthole surfers cover band or something it was oh, really good probably right, the killing my boner song here. and if you looked in the show notes you would probably see a link or at least a title of what the song is and who does it it's positive attitude or positude they keep changing their name back and forth look in the show notes you big dummy red 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 uh, but no, it's not that guy that calls him, but I love that guy's yeah, voice. That's I was really fooled. Scary. Love you, honey, baby. But no, Brad, two things. Seriously, bro. So when you're calling hotels your and, and trailer parks and whatnot, maybe you should call ahead first and then get like the naming scheme of the place or do some more research and stop being a hobo. 
because I'm tired of you getting the names wrong and messing up the whole damn prank, Brad. It's a, lot of, all, a lot of work. I'm watching like Dan the Funny Man or Dan the Man, BBQ Dan the Man on YouTube, his videos of GTA trolling. And this guy does a, like, like a lot of pranks that I watch. And I'm watching one of his videos and he's got PLA Radio, PLA Radio on his GTA 5 thing. Aww. I thought that was amazing. Brad, you're doing a great job with the show. Love you, That's honey, nice. baby. Oh, shit. I'm almost at like one minute. Bye. Yeah, Bye. what the fuck? Bye. Okay, cutting you off. Hi, Brad. It's Max Power. So I have an idea. I know you said that you were making the extra coin for the uh, Kickstarter. Yep. Um, what you should do I lied. is immortalize yourself in PLA history forever and put a picture of your face on the coin. Why? And then on the very bottom, put in Brad we trust. Okay. Because what better way to immortalize yourself in the annals of PLA history than just to do that? And I think that'd just be a great idea. Anyway, it's just a suggestion. Cactus, cactus. I hate your idea, Max Power. What were you thinking coming up with an idea like that? I don't know if that would work anyway. You know, like a, a detailed, uh, you know, realistic face looking thing on a coin. It's too risky. I better not do it. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time with this, uh, but I, uh, I have to say it. The uh, Tinder and Grinder thing you did, like, Probably like four or five years ago, I, I heard a mention on some thing I was listening to earlier about uh, Grinder being under fire for like AIDS awareness or some bullshit, and it just it fucked me up like so bad I couldn't even think about it. I have no idea what you're your, talking uh, about. Shenanigans and the uh, years past with uh, I didn't give anyone AIDS. Tender and Grinder thing and. Uh, uh, telling people you're putting him on <laughs> the profile. Uh, um, I, I don't know. It's just too ridiculous not to mention. Love you. Bye-bye. I totally agree with whatever you're talking about. Thanks for the voicemail. How dare you accuse me of holding my phone upside down. Um, I am not a hobo. I think that you may be the only hobo here. Maybe. Uh, you are guilty. All right. You win. Bye. Hey, Brad. It's Olga. Hey, Olga. Nah, just kidding. It's Matthew from Australia. Shit. Gee, I can't believe this is the first time that I've ever left a voicemail on your show. I've been listening for many years now. Can't believe back it in either. the days where you used to tell people not to donate. Can you believe it? Look how the times have changed. Yeah. You've got genuine talent, Brad. I used to uh, feel bad about it, and it, it seemed awkward to me. I'm like, oh, come on, you guys. Stop sending me money. It's weird. And now every show, I'm e-begging. Patreon.com slash phone losers, everyone. Work. Don't listen to the people like the guy that you had on the voicemail the other day who said that Carlito was better than you. He clearly has no idea what talent yeah. is. What are they you and Carlito about? are like beyond exceptionally good at what you do, and you both have different target audiences. And oh, that's why shucks. the show is different. That doesn't mean that he's better. It doesn't mean that you're better. You, you both excel in I agree. Theory. I wish people could it's understand that. The reason why I fund people like yourself is because I, I love to see people being able to exit their day jobs and do what they're good at. The amount of joy, laughter and happiness that you've provided me over the years is, is literally limitless. So keep it up and I'll keep supporting you and sure Thanks. everyone else will as well. Love you, Brad. Thanks. I'm sure enjoying doing a ton of shows now. So I was I uh, browsing Facebook and I, I'm in a couple car I'm in a couple car groups. You know, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the Ford Taurus. So okay. I'm in a four Taurus group. That's weird. Anyways, I see this guy named Art Fucking Avocado, weirdo. and I thought to myself, like, who the fuck names them? Who who the fuck names their kid Art Avocado? You know, I, I thought it was like some weird fucking Facebook thing, but I highly doubt it. But the way you know, the way he had his fucking profile set up, it was all about them fucking avocados. Anyways, that plugged that, and that made me think. I was like, hold on, like. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done any, I haven't done that Kickstarter thing that you got going on yet. You know, I, I think I'm going to do it. I, I, I might, I might not, I don't know. Okay. But I think I might. I, I, I think I might. Great. Anyways, Thanks. I hope you have yourself a great day. This is too late um, at this point, if you yeah. haven't. Have a great one. All right, bye. Hey, Brad. It's currently almost 5 a.m. Who cares? And I haven't slept. And now this one's coming up because I've been listening to your show. But uh, that's weird. The clock on this thing here says that it's midnight. So apparently you live in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Whatever. Um, you played a clip recently that you Fucking liar. made. Um, where you said you were pointing microwaves at a old woman's front door. Yep. And you couldn't shut this machine off. And yeah. 
at one point told her to put her hand in the um, toilet bowl to see if it was bowling. That toilet. was Carlito. You need to do that more. You yeah. need to convince people to put their hands in toilet bowls more often. Carlito has done that a lot. I wish I could tell you which episodes of the Madhouse Live show that that happened on, but that's always been a thing with him. He's gotten lots of people to touch the toilet water to see if it was warm or not. I think he did that to the UK people a lot, didn't he? Maybe. All right. Thanks, Brad. Can't remember, but I agree. I should get more people to put their hands in their toilet water, and I should get more people to lick sticks of butter. That's always fun. Hey, Alex. This is Jim Bayless with Ameritech Corporate Security. Hey, Jim. And I just wanted to let you know that I've risen from the dead. And I still need to talk to you about all those crazy prank phone calls you always like to make. Yeah, I'm sorry about those. So, hop a train like at the hobo you are and meet me at the corner of North Anthony and St. Louis. All right. In New Orleans, Louisiana, where we can, you know, finally face down. No tricks. We're going to throw down. Mm, nothing like that. Just you, me, my wife, Mildred, also came back from the dead. And, uh, oh, yeah, I also got a cease and desist letter from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. You say you have to stop using their name. All right, that's it. Bye, right, Brad bye. slash Alex. Hey, Brad. It's Loon. I'm calling in from a payphone in Moline, Illinois. Um, I uh, that your show is excellent. Um, for you. Uh, for uh, another prank, prank I'd like to see in the future, um, you, you should uh, do be doing more of uh, calling two Seven Elevens at the same time and uh, getting them to talk to each other. Okay. Uh, anyway, love the show. Keep I it will up. do that. Right now. No, not really right now. Hi, future Brad. It's Olga. Hey, Olga. And King Richard. Hey, King Richard. Uh, we have. Wait, no, you have a message for you. What? Hey, future Brad. It's past Brad. Whoa. I'm with Richard and Olga. Holy shit. Holy crap. Wow. This is like magic. Amazing. Okay. See later. <laughs> wow, that was really in sync at the end. Yeah, I hung out with Olga and King Richard and we left a voicemail on the PLA voicemail together. You know, like they always do together. They came down to Portland. We hung out all day. We found a working payphone. We tried to make prank calls. They didn't work out. It was a lot of fun. They're up in Canada now and they totally didn't kidnap me and they're not just forcing me to do shows now at gunpoint or anything like that. Nope. We had a fun day and they let me go. And it resulted in a voicemail from my past self. That was great. Hey, Brad, it's Corbin. Hey, hey. how's it going, buddy? Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I called. Pretty good. How you doing? Uh, I'll have some performance art soon. No, thank Anyhow, you. Anyhow, hey, um, I know you hate requests, especially through the voicemail. It's all but right. I got, I got a request or two for you. I've been hey, you beaten know down. Really cool phone I don't call care anymore. That made to that old man. Made him put on his red suspenders. Yeah. I think. Yeah, making old men put on their suspenders and leaving them sitting there on the bed in confusion. I don't that remember this. That's a great one. Yeah, could you replay that? that that'd be great. And, okay. Uh, and and uh, maybe uh, so, some boots and boys. They bring me so much joy. Okay. I kind of want to hear a phone call where I make a guy put on his red suspenders. If anybody knows where that's from, please let me know where to listen to it. That's something I've got to hear as soon as possible. Hey, Brad, it's Crazy Calvin. Hey, Crazy Calvin. I haven't Calvin. been able to listen to the PLA lately between school and my new job, but it's luckily right. I've had the last two days off, so I'm all caught up with the Snowplow Show Yay. and the Cactus Shack now. Yay. And I have an idea for you for a Tenants from Hell episode. What about Mr. Dabalinas? Are you caught up with that? I've done two episodes of that lately. Better get you caught up. You should call back the... Um, apartments from the last show you did with the bedliner episode and ask if you can get your apartment windows tinted with like five percent uh limo tint oh that's illegal the bedliner um that's all for now cactus cactus yeah that's what i should do and i should get chrome doorknobs and a chrome mailbox i don't know put tires on my apartment hey Brad, this is eric uh, i listen to your show every day anyway i need you to prank call my boss at work here he works for kia uh oh, okay kia, what is this kia car what, sale what are you doing company? anyway Anyway, so just give him a yeah, yeah. Send me an happy. email. I can see in the transcription here that he gives the phone number out. Don't do that. What the hell? That's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you for listening, everyone. 
Thank you, Miguel F., for sponsoring today's episode. Please, everybody, I'm e-begging you. Support the show at patreon.com slash phone losers. Supporting the show makes more shows happen, and you get instant access to a bunch of other secret shows that you get to hear. It's totally worth it. Thank you, everybody, that supported the Kickstarter. That's so awesome that we're going to get Snowplow Show coins this year, too, in addition to the PLA coins. And the lapel pins. Those things are going to be great. I can't wait to get those. I was thinking next year for the Kickstarter that maybe the stretch goal should be a vinyl record because I've been saying for years I'm going to do the vinyl record thing and I never do it. But maybe next year I could actually make the vinyl record thing happen because I think the vinyl record thing is going to be like a thousand bucks I'm going to have to spend. And who the hell is going to buy that? Nobody has record players anymore. Nobody wants that. But you guys keep bugging me about it. And I did promise on the Patreon that I would do that. So that might be a good idea for next year. We'll finally make some of these things happen that I've been promising and not doing for years now. Don't forget to support the Clown Set Coin and watch Calls of Mass Confusion right now. This show is over, so you need to immediately go to youtube.com slash C-O-M-C pranks and watch the latest two videos or three videos if it's tomorrow already. There's going to be another video released tomorrow. I'm sure it's going to be a good one. I'm going to end today's show with a song by Positive Attitude since that guy in the voicemail was asking about them because he was too dumb to look in the show notes and just see who it was. But this is Positive Attitude. This is a song where they don't sound like the butthole surfers. This one is called 2600. because if you worked for the city, you'd give me your last name. Well, you didn't ask for my last name. What's your last name, Roy? I'm not going to tell you. Exactly. Bye.